Hello, and welcome to the Media Center's sixth Local Hero Award series, in which we showcase a total of six people from the Mid-Peninsula for outstanding achievement or contributions to the community. We solicited nominations and were particularly looking for the unsung heroes. Each winner is an inspiration, and each has a great story to tell. How many bright, energetic, well-educated, 20-something American males do you know that choose for a career the mentoring of underserved middle school kids? All too few, I would guess. Yet this is exactly what Abe Abuyaradi is doing. He began with a program called SPARK, which matches kids with professionals who volunteer to mentor them. Abe now heads up the Center for a New Generation, a program at four local schools that's administered by the Peninsula Boys and Girls Club. Perhaps because of his own experiences or maybe just because of his sheer drive and optimism, Abe has turned around the lives of countless young people. Tell me, what does your organization, the Center for New Generation, do that isn't already being done? So our program, the Center for New Generation, um, it gives students not only homework help after school, but in addition to that, it also offers different academic enrichment programs. It also introduces the concept of college to our students. We work with fourth to eighth graders, so we really start introducing that concept early on. And then towards the end of the day, we also offer electives where students get to explore soccer, arts and ceramics, student council. Um, and I would say it's a really good balance of both homework help, academic enrichment, and also electives to allow them to explore. How much difference can a mentor make in, in, in that child's family? They can make a tremendous, tremendous different, uh, difference. We work with students Monday through Friday for three hours after school. So there's definitely a lot of exposure that our students have, not just to the program, but to the mentors. Uh, a mentor can have a profound impact by just being a consistent person in the life of a young person. I understand that your own experience has really informed your understanding of these kids. Absolutely, I would definitely say one of the big reasons I got into this field of youth development is because of my experience when I was in middle school as well. It was definitely a bit challenging because I was not very much engaged or motivated for that matter in school. Um, and what I lacked most was a strong mentor at school that can really encourage me, support me, and then let me know that I do have potential and that I can achieve um, my goals if I have a really clear vision of what I want to accomplish and what I want to achieve. So I feel that I can empathize with a lot of our students and, and where they're at. Now, you had an experience with a teacher that yes. surprised me when you first told me about that. Yes, I had that experience when I was in fifth grade. I came into the school struggling in my academics, struggling in school. Um, and this experience with the teacher was a bit even traumatic. Um, she really made me feel that I wasn't capable. Definitely constantly putting me down um, in front of the whole class. It just shows how powerful um, an adult can be, either in the positive or negative sense in the life of a young person. Tell me some personal examples that you've had of connections and success stories. Absolutely. Um, it was in 2009 when I first started at the school where I'm currently in. I worked with, in my opinion, one of the most difficult students that I had been exposed to up to that point. Every session, it just literally became more difficult because he was not engaged. He was very disrespectful, very rude. And what I did to go into that is just putting myself in, in his position and empathizing with where he was coming from, because I saw a lot of myself I was in him. Say, was he more difficult than you? I would say, that's a really good question. I would say about the same, to tell you the truth. And, and that's why he became one of my favorite students. I like working with the students that many people say, there's no hope, he's past hope. There's nothing that we're able to do for he or she. I like to work with those students because those are the students that need to know you have 
this much potential. This is what's available. So it took that whole spring session, but towards the end of the session at our graduation celebration, um, I feel like we made a really strong connection and he said that he was appreciative of the experience and of me working with him as well, which was huge. The long-term impact at the end was, was really, it made everything so much more worthwhile. How have you grown and changed as a result of your experiences? I've grown so much. It's been really humbling just to, to feel like you've been embraced by that community. And wow, learning the importance of being teachable. To find out more about our local heroes and to watch interviews with all the winners, visit our website, midpenmedia.org. At the Mid Peninsula Community Media Center, you can make your own videos and television programs and take classes in all aspects of media production. You can also hire our professional services team. To find out more, go to mcproservices.com. Congratulations to all our winners, and thank you for watching.